Hello, I'm Dr. Megan McLeod and I'm the director of the Wellcome Trust funded PhD programme in Integrated Infection Biology at the University of Glasgow. Thank you for your interest in our programme and you can find out more information about us, the programme and the types of project that we fund via the website. This video is to help you with the application process. We'll give you information on what's required and signpost you to additional information that you might need. The best place to start is our website and the how to apply section, which contains direct links into the application system. When first applying, you don't have to have all of your application forms already to hand. These can be uploaded at a later date. Just log back in, but please make sure that you've uploaded and submitted before the closing date, which is Friday the 8th of January 2024. A really important document that you will complete is the recruitment information form. This, has, this allows us to assess candidates while reducing the impact of our unconscious biases. It allows you to tell us all about yourself without revealing your name, gender, ethnicity and nationality. This is the form that we use for shortlisting, so please take your time when completing it. In this round of recruitment, we're looking for seven PhD students from a few different categories. At least three studentships will be for UK-based individuals, and these are people who are eligible for UK home funding. Two studentships will be for anybody from anywhere in the world, so international students. And lastly, we have two students that are for applicants from countries which host our partner institutions. And these countries are Kenya, Malawi and Uganda. And you can find more information about our partners on the website. All of these seven places are fully funded, and this includes tuition fees, the student stipend, consumables, training and travel. I wish you good luck with your applications. Thank you. Hi, I'm Daniel Stryker, a professor of viral ecology at the School of Biodiversity, One Health and Veterinary Medicine and the MRC Center for Virus Research. I'm going to explain a few key points about the application process for the Wellcome Trust Integrated Infection Biology PhD program. As well as linking to the admissions portal, our how to apply section also hosts the application checklist, which is a very useful document to download. First, you'll create an application in the applications portal. This will generate an application number. Please take note of this number as you will need it at a later point in the application process. When prompted, you should enter your start date as the 7th of October, 2024. As this is a university-wide generic form, you'll be asked to complete some questions that we don't necessarily need the answer to. In particular, you'll be asked to provide your research supervisor and a proposed title for your research. Students in this program only select supervisors and projects after two rotations projects which are carried out in the first year. Therefore, you can go ahead and populate those questions with a NA or not applicable. The admissions portal will also ask you about your funding. For that, you can select University of Glasgow Scholarship. The recruitment information form is required for your application, and if it is not completed, you cannot go forward to shortlisting. You should download this form from our website and complete it offline. Save the completed form with the application number and the file name. This is the same application number that was provided to you when you first created your application. This is so we can match your application with the recruitment information form. Later in the application, you will be asked to provide a few other documents. These include your CV or resume, so please make sure those are up to date. Degree certificates for your bachelor's degree or master's are also requested, but don't worry if you don't have these yet. Instead, you can simply provide your academic transcript or your grade point average. You'll be asked to upload a scan photo of the photo page of your passport to, as per, to provide evidence of your country of origin. Lastly, you'll be asked to provide the details of two references who can support your eligibility and research abilities. References must be uploaded to the application portal by referees or by emailing our admissions team at pg-research-admissions at glasgow.ac.uk. Further information about what references should cover can be found on our website. References must be received by the closing date of 8th of January, 2024. You may also need to upload or complete an English language proficiency score before matriculating, and more information on that can be found on our website. Hi, I'm Antonia Ho, Clinical Senior Lecturer at the MRC, University of Glasgow Centre for Virus Research, and a member of the PhD Programmes Management Committee. 
As previously said, the recruitment information form is used to shortlist candidates. This file needs to be linked with your application number that is generated by the portal, so download and save the document as application number dash WTIIB 2023. Firstly, you will be asked to add information about your academic background. Please avoid adding the details of your institution. We'd also like to hear about current and past employment. This could be a summer placement in a research lab or something similar. However, we'd also like to learn about non-science-based jobs that you've had, as there will be skills that you have learned in these roles that will be relevant to your PhD. For example, team building or leadership skills. You can differentiate on the form when asked type of employer by stating whether it is university or business. Next is an opportunity for you to tell us about your research experience, perhaps through an undergraduate or master's project or work you have been involved with after your degree. We want to know about the type of project, but most importantly about your contribution and if there have been any outputs, for example, poster presentations or scientific publications. If referencing publications, please don't ask specific reference information. Tell us about how you felt about the research, what you found most exciting, any challenges you may have had to overcome and what you felt particularly proud of. We want to learn more about you as a person. We recognise that not everyone applying to the PhD programme has had equal opportunities, so we want to give you an opportunity to tell us about any mitigating circumstances we should uh, take into account. Perhaps you have had a caring role or lacked access to particular educational resources. We know that everyone has been impacted by COVID-19 one way or the other, and we take this into account with the level of experience you may have. The personal uh, statement is your opportunity to pitch to us why we should select you for our program. Please cover your reasons for applying, why this program fits with your career aspirations and why you're well suited as a candidate. Please make sure you add your application ID to the recruitment form when prompted. I'm Jacqueline Michaeljohn and I'm the Wellcome Trust IIB PhD Programme Manager. Please remember that the closing date for the application is Friday the 8th of January, so all information must be uploaded to the portal by this date. It will take us approximately three weeks to download everything from our system, and each recruitment information form will be assessed by two members of our panel ahead of a follow-up discussion where we will decide who will be invited for the interview. You will receive an acknowledgement from the portal that your application has been submitted, and we will be in touch within four weeks of this to advise you of the outcome of your application. On the portal generated email, you will receive a link to a Wellcome Trust survey. The Wellcome Trust are the funders of our programme and they would like to learn more about the people who are applying for their PhD programmes across the country. The information is anonymous and goes directly to Wellcome Trust and therefore does not form part of your application process. Please complete this survey as it does help us shape programmes of the future. If you have any remaining questions, please contact me at welcomeiib at glasgow.ac.uk. Thank you again for your interest in our programme and we wish you the best of luck.